So we have another MP on the Labour left who has been suspended from the party. Kate Osamor was suspended yesterday for, and I kid you not, calling out multiple genocides. So what was the statement in question that got her suspended? It was this. Tomorrow is Holocaust Memorial Day, an international day to remember the 6 million Jews murdered during the Holocaust, the millions of other people murdered under Nazi persecution of other groups, and more recent genocides in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia, and now Gaza. I think you can guess which part of it caused an uproar. She dared mention Gaza because, yes, Palestinians are facing genocide. She said absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I thought that was near enough perfect. She acknowledged that six million Jews were being murdered in the Holocaust, or were murdered in the Holocaust, obviously. Then she referenced other genocides and didn't cowardly ignore Gaza. Yet despite that, she then followed it up with an apology and pathetically, pathetically disregarded the genocide of Palestinians. Holocaust Memorial Day is a day to remember the six million Jews killed in the Holocaust and the genocides that have occurred since. I apologise for any offence caused by my reference to the ongoing humanitarian disaster in Gaza as part of that period of remembrance. Humanitarian disaster. A natural occurrence like a, uh, a hurricane, that's a disaster because, well, it's no one's fault. Describing the systemic killing of Palestinians as a humanitarian disaster is an insult. Yet it doesn't matter because she was suspended anyway. That's right. Labour has gone after another black left-wing woman because they don't seem to give a shit about them. Kate's original statement was almost word for word the exact same as the Holocaust Memorial website. Holocaust Memorial Day is the day for everyone to remember the millions of people murdered in the Holocaust under Nazi persecution and in the genocides which followed in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia and Arthur. The only thing she added was Gaza because acknowledging a genocide is anti-Semitism apparently. We have some examples of people attacking her and frothing at the mouth that a black woman has been suspended from the Labour Party again. Despicable stuff, I'm afraid. Labour is on the verge of power, on the brink of having a chance to change things. And she does this silly self-indulgement crap like this. Self-indulgement? How? She knew this was offensive, but did it anyway. Her apology is utter bilge. Stupid. I don't know how that's self-indulgement. She's literally talking about other people being killed, but... Okay. We also have Ewan Phillips. You may have seen him around. He said this. I've long argued that Keir Starmer has been too lenient on Labour anti-Semitism in the Parliamentary Labour Party. Tonight's incident involving Kate Osamore is just another example of why he needs to deploy full zero tolerance. Whenever I see him pop up, I genuinely laugh my ass off because some of you will know, especially if you watch the Labour Files, Ewan Phillips was outed in the Labour Files pretending to be a Jewish person under the pseudonym David Goldstein, where he would report members to try and get them expelled for supposedly anti-Semitism. The fucking ghoul of this man to lecture people on it, and one, he isn't Jewish, and two, pretended to be one to try and expel, let's be honest, people on the left of the Labour Party. That is the kind of man he is, and I don't know how he isn't ashamed of himself and why he hasn't pissed off from the public discourse. The Board of Deputies have also weighed in with their shit opinions, of course. We unreservedly condemn the attempts by Kate Osamore to link the Holocaust to the current situation in Gaza. The industrialised mass murder of 6 million Jews is in no way comparable to Israel's efforts to uproot Hamas from Gaza. We believe that Miss Osamore was perfectly aware of what she was saying and therefore view her apology as utterly hollow. We call for the Labour Party to immediately remove the whip. We also have a statement from JLM, a Jewish Labour movement. This week, we've been commemorating the murder of 6 million Jews in the Holocaust and those who perished in subsequent genocides. Sadly, Kate Osamor MP used Holocaust Memorial Day to make an inappropriate and offensive comparison to the war in Gaza. Her subsequent non-apology rang hollow. These days, we know the Labour Party is better than this. Clearly, that's a signal to uh, Labour not being Corbyn anymore. We join others, including her own CLP, in calling on Labour to suspend her while they investigate. So why are so many thinking that what Kate Osama said is anti-Semitic? Now the reason is because they think that it's inappropriate to compare the Holocaust with what's happening in Gaza. Now I, I fully get it. I understand that this can garner a, a strong emotional reaction. To put it simply, Jews were the main victims of the Holocaust and today Israel is a state for Jews. So comparing the actions of Israel is tantamount to Jews inflicting 
the horrors they faced onto others, and that's offensive. But the problem with that line of thinking is that there are, there are many assumptions here. Now, we on the left, or, or those who heavily criticize Israel, are not conflating Jews with Israel. If someone attacks Israel and you hear that as an attack on Jews, that's a you problem. Likewise, if you are someone who attacks Jews for the crimes of Israel, you're anti-Semitic. Thankfully, as I said, most of us don't do that. But what we really need to understand here is that genocide isn't something that is owned by a particular community. Of course, when talking about the Holocaust, it's important to treat it with sensitivity. Six million Jews were rounded up and murdered. Today, anti-Semitism is on the rise. The far right are gaining ground. What is happening in Israel and Palestine is bad for Jews as well as Muslims. However, there have been victims who have been completely forgotten about. It wasn't just Jews who were killed. Disabled people, queer people, Romani have all been completely invisibilized from it. That doesn't downplay the Jewish victims, does it? So I think this line of thinking goes hand in hand with talking about Gaza. Now, I've seen pro-Israel people on Twitter attack those who talked about the Holocaust but didn't specifically mention Jews, but rather the statement was um, broadly talking about all the victims. Um, but there were other victims and they, they shouldn't be forgotten about. I mean, minority groups are supposed to stand together against the oppressors. But I've seen Zionists, and when I say Zionists, I'm not talking about Jewish people. I mean, there are many Christian Zionists who aren't Jewish. Um, and they divide communities. I've seen some horrific anti-Palestinian racism and Islamophobia from big supporters of Israel. So the knee-jerk reaction shouldn't be, well, how dare you mention, mention Palestine? It, sh it should be never again for anyone. You know, those aren't just words. We're actually supposed to abide by that for all people. But there is no pleas in the usual suspects who come out and attack and call you anti-Semitic for speaking truth to power when it comes to Israel. What was the point in Kate apologising? They were never going to take it in good faith, as you've seen. She was always going to be suspended for completely cynical reasons. I mean, Starmer, I would not at all be surprised if he himself didn't think that Kate Osmo, Kate Osmo said was wrong. But he suspended her simply for optics reasons and because he would have pissed off the Israel influencers in the party. And we do have people who constantly talk about the Israel lobby, even when it's completely irrelevant. And it, it does make you think, hmm, that's a bit dodgy. But it's absolutely true that Israel does have an influence in our political parties. Like, Luke Akers is quite literally paid by the, is, by the state of Israel. You cannot have financial backing from foreign states. It's undemocratic. But that's fine because it's Israel. And Israel and the West are aligned in imperialist uh, interests. If it's Russia, well, all hell breaks loose, which we've seen over the past few years. The Tories have taken Russia money, which is bad, by the way, but it should be bad across the board. But Labour's decision to suspend Kate is also hypocritical, since if you're a white bloke on the right of the party, you can actually do real anti-Semitism and get away with it. This is from 2020. Labour frontbencher Steve Reid has apologised unreservedly for a tweet describing a Jewish conservative donor as a puppet master. The Shadow Community Secretary issued the apology a day after deleting the inappropriate message about businessman Richard Desmond. Tweeting at the weekend, Mr. Reeves said, Is billionaire former porn baron Desmond the puppet master for the entire Tory cabinet? That is literally a trope. But did the media dissent on him? Did big pro-Israel people have a huge outcry? No, there wasn't. It's as if Israel and its supporters don't actually give a shit about anti-Semitism and only care if you are pro-Israel, which is Steve. It's why Elon Musk can be invited to Israel to meet Netanyahu despite allowing Nazis to pop up everywhere on Twitter and he himself say the most Nazi, anti-Semitic shit anyone has ever said. And of course, Starmer didn't do shit. Remember how many times those attacking Corbyn said, oh, if only apologised for a statement on the EHRC, even though he was correct, he'd be back in the party. Well, there, this is even more evidence that that was bullshit all along because Kate has apologised. Oh, but no, that's not good enough. She needs to go. You really want to know the state of the Labour Party? This picture perfectly sums it up. This is an image of Labour MPs, which include Margaret Hodge and former Tory MP turned Labour Christian Wakeford taking pictures with Israel's president, Isaac Herzog. This is the guy who said that an entire nation out there is responsible for October 7th. His quote was even used as evidence against Israel at the ICJ. Taking pictures with genociders, suspending black women MPs for calling out genocide. I will say this again. Do not vote 
Labour.